Hey, how's everybody doing? Sorry to be Pete. A little while to get this one going. I had not had time to film. This is issue two of 42nd Street Pete's Grindhouse Resurrection. Now, this is 10 bucks. You gotta pay Pete for postage and all that, but he'll sign it and ship it right to you. He gets to you quick. Like, Pete ships it quick. Like, he told me I'll put it in the mail today, and it was like, it's too many in two days. And it's coming from Ohio all the way down to the asshole United States, Mississippi. And look at that cover. Make them die slowly. Demonoid. Now, there might be some stuff here, a little graphic gore, maybe a little quick nudity, so. Look at that street trash inside book. This is Stringer 2023. Uh, pizza editor. Let's see here. Ten weeks of sheer depravity to make them die slowly and demonoid about that playing on 42nd Street. Can't drive 55 about Cannonball and Cannonball Run and all these other car movies when the speed limit got changed. Modern Horror Why It Leaves Me Cold. Uh, this one, I don't agree with the guy, but I get him. Payment in Blood, Spaghetti Westerns, Bloodbath. Oh, man. There were some really cool Spaghetti Westerns back in the day. Manuel, Joe DeMond's Excellent Caribbean Vacation, Right Nights of Living in and Porno Holocaust. Yeah, there was full nudity there from Miss Gimzer. I love it. Grand House Resurrection Fiction Selection. What happened, what happened to Hell Spawn, Harley Harker? Never read this. I, I don't. I like that Pete does it, but I don't, I don't read it. Uh, paperback sleeves and 99 book series, a little sleazy paperback. Bullshit on Blu-ray. Talking about these big-ass sets. That, why are people buying, like, The Kindred, You Came from the Swamp, Vader's Lost Gold, Forgotten Jolly, New York Ninja, Dungeon of, yeah, William Wicker, which is a writer, producer, director. Good long interview here. Like, good Double D Avenger. I forgot all about that. Jeez. Really, 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 really long. Grand house at your house. Something we're very severing in revision, video streams. Uh, to my, uh, how, you know, this is for a good chunk of us. We didn't have grand house. Like the closest thing I had to a grand house or 42nd street was we had a dollar. There's two dollar theaters. Both of them, the closest thing they came to do anything like this was the one over in Mobile on Fridays and Saturdays, and it went down to just Saturdays at, it was either 11 or camera did a midnight movie, and they'd show like, Faces of Death 4, if you sit through the whole thing, you get a certificate, or you know, shit like that, it just changed every week. The one over in Biloxi, which was the Silver Screen, was the better of the two, you could buy beer there, you could smoke in the theater, it was great. <laughs> you buy beer by the picture, it was great. Yeah, have a buddy buy, a buddy was old enough, buddy was old enough to buy beer by the picture and get two mugs, hey, I'll pay for half the picture, you could smoke. In the lobby, you could, well, if it was a Rocky showing and the managers didn't, if it was a certain manager, you'd smoke in the theater. But they showed Rocky Horror every Friday and Saturday for a long ass time and quit and come back and then something happened. But they, they showed other stuff too. So yeah, that was my brown house. Championship wrestling for Florida. Okay, this is an article. Hope you don't mind I reveal this. I was working on it, kind of got put on, put on the back burner because of other things I had to take care of. A once or twice a year wrestling zine that was kind of southern based. Like it covered modern stuff, then he's talking about the old stuff. Well, I mentioned the piece. Hey, would you mind writing something? He's like, Yeah, sure, not a problem. He sent me this without the pictures, of course. And it ended up being what? Two pages about how he got exposed to Florida Championship Wrestling. He lived in New York because of the Spanish channel, and then he went down to Florida on vacation and fell in love with it because all he was seeing was WWWF. Great piece. Like, Pete, thank you. Hope you don't mind I revealed it. It was written for my mag and it. I, I told Pete to be fair from a mag we get out, so he put it in here. That's cool. Hey, you own it, dude. You wrote it. And he didn't ask for any compensation or anything. 42nd Street, 42nd Street Memories, Confessions of Massage Parlor Street Advertiser, Part 1 of... Okay, I've not read that. O.K. Jones. I don't remember who that. Grand House Paperback. Oh, this is all the people that died. John Turkle, Sonny Barger, Ray Liotta, Paul Servino, David Warner, Tony Dow, Michelle Nichols, Henry Silva, Austin Stoker, Kit Natibidae. Nick Tallow, Craig Ledbetter. Oh, man. European Stretch Center. I forgot about that. Stuart Margol and Max Julian. Irene Cara. Okay. Albert Pullian. Wow. William Olson. Nick Mallory. Okay, Nick Phillips. Andrew Pine. And Kay Parker. The Baroness. See, this is the kind of stuff I want to read it, but it used to be that stuff was cheap. I see him in books. I don't know. It looks kind of stupid. Now I want to read it. Everybody else does too. So now that book I could have got for 50 cents or a buck at most is like 20 bucks. I'm not paying that. Not paying that. I'm, I mean, look, it looks, you got a monkey and a woman in a suit. It's called the Baroness. It looks great, like a cat suit. Yes. Chiller Carnival on the Blood Rama Shock Festival. Midnight Magazine. 
They say it's a well done match. Rebel Rouse is a true story when a fake biker team terrorizes a living ghost town. Oh, Bat would love this. He's all into the damn biker shit. How to Melt a Wino Notes on the Making of Street Trash by Mike Lackey, a.k.a. Fred the Bomb. This is another good, decent interview. Fred Ward, a tribute to him who died. Fred Ward was so good. Young, hot, and nasty teenage cruisers and wicked schoolgirls. Okay, wait a second here. Like I said, I warned y'all there might be some. It's artistic. It's not, you know. It, it, I've seen stuff on YouTube that's worse than that. So, Monster Kids Return with the Films of Children. Okay, this is the one. Pete talking about the. My father remembers seeing the package that went around on the coast back then. He was a little kid. He had to go to like his aunt's house to watch because they didn't have TV. My mom wouldn't have been watching this stuff. I have this affinity for horror movies. I, watch, I record Singuli every week. I don't always watch them. I, I used to watch Count Gore Vidal every week. I've kind of fallen out of that. But I love this stuff. And this video introduced. I, mine was Sergeant Graves. I was, Mobile or Pensacola? I don't. I cannot. I'm not sure. You're a crime. I bet Dylan and the new croissants the snack bar. Okay, Cat Nine Tail. That's exploitation. Timothy F. Terry, Man Man or Genius. I have no idea who that even is. This is good. Kevin Sullivan, Pro Wrestling Fuel Mastermind by Robert Sagan. I'm a huge Kevin Sullivan fan. I think he's amazing. Nick at Night, a retro interview with Nick Phillips. That is kick out. Okay, if there's only Nancy is woman, there's Nancy back in the day. Fallen Angel. Super hot in that 80s way. Late Night Noir. Let us in VHS lunch meets. More films made in Detroit. Oh, and then Impulse. Is this the one where Shatner plays like the racist? No, it's not. Which stars is Matthew Stone, a deranged gigolo who preys on rich women, unreal is murderous psycho sex exploitation filmmaker William Griefy, the Death Curse cartoon, co starring Jennifer Bishop, Al Abinson's a female, Ruth Roman, Hitch Shot Strangers on a Train, Harold Oddjob Sakata. Goldfinger and William Kerwin, Hers Herschel Gordon Lewis's Love Feast. Impulse is being presented in a beautiful new master livery store in 4K from rare rival 35mm film prints. Okay. That's going to be a fortune because it's crying house, but like I said, good magazine. Hope y'all enjoy that. Remember, if you do, go order a copy from Pete. Uh, he's, uh, Pete. Yes. Newt, stay sick. Or second like He always says to say, I love that. I was like, Pete, saying so. You sure? I was like, yes. And his find it on Facebook. I'm gonna hold it up here. Says owner and publisher, Pete Chiella. Find him, friend him, watch his videos. This dude, and go check out his sales. Dude has out of print shit, and he's selling it for next to nothing. I got a bunch of kick ass DVDs off of him back around Christmas last year for next to nothing. And get this mag, man. You don't get. Good armor mags like this. You know, video watchdogs gone. Fan of the movies, video scopes ain't worth buying anymore. Uh, I think shock cinema's still around, but you don't get that anymore. And this is a damn quality magazine. I mean, look, to me, that is as good as what I'd find on the newsstands. And hell, it's a better read. I mean, you got 10 bucks and ship, it's going to be about 15 bucks. And I understand if you don't live in the States, it's expensive. The shipping's going to kill your ass. I'm sorry about that. That's what happens when people are fucking stupid. I would leave it at that. But yeah. Our postal system got fucked in the States about, oh, uh, going on about five years ago now. This is 2023, so yeah, about five years ago. It got fucked bad. Like, I had a package, and I did a video about this, that sat in Memphis, Tennessee. It's coming from Upper, New York, Upper Michigan. So it's going to come through Memphis. It sat in Memphis, Tennessee for 20-something days before it finally moved to the, like, the next two days afterwards. I could have... Crab walked from where I live in Mississippi to us and back in less than 20 something days. I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.